So, sorry I look homeless, uh, this is my ensemble, it is my, well, yeah, these are lazy clothes, and they're my boyfriend's, and I'm doing homework, so I don't really want to be in my, I mean, I love my workout gear, don't get me wrong, but this is very comfy. Um, so today's workout is on chest, um, so I have like four just simple, um, chest workouts I suggest, personally, I'm very weak in my chest. I rarely do chest. I'm trying to do more chest so I become stronger in chest because I think your chest is one of the biggest um, muscles in your body, like size-wise. Um, so it's very important. And even if you're a girl, it's good to train it. So um, here's just a few chest workouts I suggest. Um, why have you guys here? Here's what I'm eating. Um, let me see if I can show you. I just made it right now. So I'll explain the quinoa rice in a second but I did one egg and one egg white and I scrambled it and then I put in some pre-made um, I made it earlier in the week ground turkey and I scrambled all that up and then I added my quinoa rice which I will explain that recipe and I put it all together and cooked it on the um, stove and then when I was done I added some of this um, black bean hummus it is so good definitely recommend um, and I finished it with, uh, Frank's Red Hot and it is amazing. It's spicy quinoa rice and, um, in the spicy quinoa rice, I actually have a whole thing I made here. I made it actually for my boyfriend's mom's birthday and it actually was really good. So, um, it's a bunch of carbs, so it just kind of be like what you would eat with your carbs, but I definitely recommend. Um, so it has, let's see if I can show you guys. I cooked the quinoa mixed with rice in a pot and put salt and let that cook for like 20, 25 minutes on the stove. Um, you just leave it on medium heat after it's boiled. And then um, I have in there, I sauteed uh, mushrooms and uh, garlic, not garlic, mushrooms and onions in a pan. And then in another pan, I cooked with olive oil and salt, sweet potato. And when it was almost cooked, I added some red bell pepper. And then I added both of those um, things to the rice, along with um, black beans and pinto beans. And then I added um, a tablespoon of cayenne, a tablespoon, or not table, sorry, teaspoon. Teaspoon of cayenne pepper, teaspoon of paprika, teaspoon of... Um, what was it? Red pepper. I did a teaspoon of chili powder. I did like half a, or it's like a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else I added that sounds, oh, garlic powder. I did a, a teaspoon of that. And yeah, I said chili powder already, cayenne, paprika. Yeah, so I did all that and I mixed it up and I put that in the rice and then I put a ton of Frank's Red Hot in the rice as well and it's so good. I definitely recommend um, as like a flavorful thing you can have with your meat or protein or whatever, veggies, um, but it's really good. So I put all that together and that is my dinner. Um, anyways, so that is just what I'm eating right now. Um, but I definitely rec- oh, and here's another snack I found. Italian carbs, but it's just something nice to kind of use. Um, cocoa almond date. The ingredients are, I think there's like 10 ingredients, and you can read all of them. Gluten-free oats, dates, sour gum, almonds, coconut, pumpkin seeds, unsweetened coconut powder, vanilla extract, and cinnamon. That is all that's in it, and it's super good. 
Um, you can make overnight oats with it. Um, you can put it on top of bowls. You can make oatmeal. It's very, very good. So I suggest that. Put it in your yogurt. I cannot have yogurt. Um, anyways, back to the workout of the day. Um, so yeah, chest, four workouts. Do each workout three to four times and do as many reps as you can. I suggest 10. Um, if you can do more, do more. Whatever weight you can do, build up to your weight. Same old thing as all the other workouts. And yeah, so this is my chest day. First sight of rays of light, I hear the birds sing. It's a sign he's giving me everything will be okay. Sometimes when I wake up and I'm wondering how my life would have been if I didn't sing. I get a little stressed out every now and then. The problems come and problems go when I'm around him. Blessed in the morning, blessed in the 